Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition where we're about to unbox another new game and I'm really really excited about this one. Um, those of you that know me well know I particularly enjoy the Emperor S4 game publications and it's the time of year when they put out new releases so I'm super excited to have them in my greedy clutches um, and share them with you. So today I'm unboxing Trial of the Temples um, which is from Emperor S4 and from designers Michael Mihas. oh my god <sighs> this is just sad isn't it I'm sorry guys I'm feeling a little sick today so it's from Michael Mihaslik and we Wei Ming Ling. Okay, that was terrible. <laughs> but you know, you gotta you gotta acknowledge designers, they make these beautiful games. Um and yes indeed this is a beautiful game. Look at the cover. This is gorgeous. So for those of you familiar with m 4 s 4 titles, um you might recognise some of this. It sounds a bit familiar. Um last year they released a game called Realm of Sands, and you can check out my review for that. And this lady is dressed suspiciously like the lady in Realm of Sands. And they've also released a game called Mystery of the Temples, which is this really, really um glorious and super pretty um, game about moving around temples unsurprisingly so it looks a little bit like they've combined these two loves together um, you may notice that this is number four in this series they um, like to number their board games um, and they look really cool when you put them side by side like so see they all number up so um, I'll, I'll carry on so Trial of the Temples is a game for two to four players it's supposed to take 30 to 60 minutes which is cool and it's for ages 14 plus and just because we're cool if you look at the other side you get the, the really pretty art on it so I like that they give you the option the box itself is lovely and quite um, touchy-feely um, is the technical term I believe and let's have a look at the back of the box so um, as usual it's quite busy because they have two languages on here um, and it does indeed look a little bit like a mystery of the temples um, and set up here's the temples round um, except this time you have your own player board there's this big cool looking um, circle I won't call it a roundel in the middle and according to them this game um, has four out of five on strategy one out of five on luck, so it's not very lucky. Um, four out of five for interaction, and it's like three out of five weight-wise, so it's not a particularly heavy game, but heavier than some. And they do some rather lovely light little games too. So let's see what this says about one, this one. So every century, the most powerful archmages gather at the center of the world, and you must enter the trials at the three temples to compete for the title of Supreme Master. Okay, that's pretty fun sounding. And um, we've got all sorts of cool stuff in it. So as it says here, actual components may vary. This is a preview copy. Um, I'd very much like to thank Emperor S4 for that. So it may look different when it's printed, but usually they're, they're, they're pretty much the same. Um, this is, should be good. So let's go inside, shall we? And see what we find. Okie dokie. So first things first, rule books. In the center of this. Oh, quite a chunky rule book. Um, paper is quite um, waxy, um, that's grand, very durable stuff. So we'll start with the overview, here's all your components, you can see there's going to be crystals and Archmage figurines, very cool. So the game setup, um, so they're nicely numbered. I like the way um, that Emperor S4 are kind of evolving with their rule books throughout the years. Their rule books used to be kind of problematic but they've really really come a long way. Goal of the game, how to play. There's a day and night phase, ooh, exciting. Um, and they're marking kind of exceptions and notes in red along the side, so that's good. There's quite a bit of text here, but it's it's well broken up. Um, I also like the fact that everything's kind of colored or marked, and there's plenty of pictures too. So there is two player variants. Ah, because this is here, it says where the game ends and final scoring. Fair enough, so two player variants. Um, interesting that it needs it. That might, you know, change how you feel about the game. And this is why the rulebook is so big. Appendix spellboard, it's in a whole other language, which is good if you read other languages. So actually the rule book is not as big as I thought, but it does seem to be relatively kind of dense and stuff. Okay, so excellent. Tally ho. Ooh, look at this. Okay, well this is definitely a step up in Mystery of the Temples because the temples and that are cards. So here they are card well, cardboard. Whoa, that really doesn't want to stay in the thing. So as you can, as you can see, they pop out rather well. Um, let's feel the cardboard is, oh, well, look at the art. Let's start with the art, shall we? Whoop, it's not, so that's the back of the, the card. And then there's the front. It's very, very beautiful. Cards, lovely, hard, rounded corners, nice and textured, really nice stuff. So I can try and show you what's in here. So there were, there were some tiles. 
<laughs> um, so there's another water one. Yeah, so this must be day and night. I get it, I'm with you. And little gems, you're obviously gonna need to need. So they were in the first one. Need to need, that's a new word. Um, these look like, you know, bonuses or ways of movie things. These little discs look like something from Realm Sands. And you've got these cool little, like, I wanna say astrological tokens. Could be wrong. Okay, two for you. So the next row, please, please, no. No, it just wants to disassemble itself. So um, we're now into the Fire Nation. Everything changed the day the Fire Nation attacked. So um, these are gorgeous, aren't they beautiful? Oh, I like the, the night one. They're very cool. And then there's more of these kind of bonuses and those special tokens. I wonder where all the fallen out ones have gone. And when I get to the bottom, then there'll be a load of them. So we try to pull out the next one. Like. <laughs> all right. Um, so this one now has like a, a temple token. So I assume it might be a first player token or more of these. And then I can, oh, I can pick up many of these now. They fell all the way down. Yeah, I really like the cardboard. The cardboard's super chunky. Like you can, you can kind of listen to it. It's good stuff. So this is the day and night token, I assume. We've got more beautiful locations. Look at that, temples. Ooh, that one's like a Borg cube. I like it. More beautiful temples. The artwork in this is really, really nice. Look at that. Woo. So yeah, you can really feel like you're transported to all these temples. I actually, God, they're beautiful at night. You turn them around and they're all they're all lit up like that. It's fab. Okay, so what's next? I want to say these look like player boards because <laughs> it's supposed the game's supposed to be for four players. So there's four of these. These look like a right a wild ride. <laughs> they look rather serious, don't they? Um, so now, so it's these just seem to be things you can do by putting tokens on them. So you mark off what actions you've done. That's my guess. Um, you can do things with these tokens, not sure about this, this looks like the sands of time kind of thing, just like that. So maybe you put tokens down and you take them off, hmm? and look, oh, there's a meeple, could be exciting, is there anything on the back? There is! Um, and there, so yeah, they're different on front and back. Oh interesting, so everyone has a starting player power in this, this is Realm of Sands site style. Um, so you see this person starts with a cube, this person starts with this, this, and it's cool. Um, and then the back of them, you keep your ability, but this stuff here changes, or does your board change? Hmm, I don't know. Mm -hmm. They're thin enough cardboard, but not complete waste of space. So they're sturdy enough, I don't think they'll go anywhere. Okay, so here's the core of our board. Can I assemble it? Oh. I do like that it's a pie. <laughs> I cannot hold it in my hands. There we go, but um, you can see it's beautiful. Does it flip to nighttime? Oh my gosh, it does. On nighttime, it's got no gem things around it. Interesting. So this is really sturdy cardboard again. This is made of the same stuff that the, the temples are made of. Very nice. Right, now we're into the itty bitty bits and bobs. I'm gonna start with the meatballs. Because if we're gonna be arch mages, I wanna look badass. And, whoop, if I turn myself the right way around. <laughs> I do look a little badass. There we go. Woo. So obviously all in primary colours. Don't know how well this game would fare with colourblind people. There's a lot of colours um, and a lot of a lot of primary colours in particular. So we get some cubes. Some beautiful colour cubes. Now these are, are they, they, some of these are slightly off colour. Which might help a bit. They're beautiful actually. They're really nice. They're quite, they're, they're big. Like they're not terraform or size. They're bigger than that and some nice colours. Very nicely rendered, they have a nice weight to those. Okay, so obviously those are the cubes you might use on your player board. And then we got some gems, because there is never enough gems. These are very much Mystery of the Temple gems. Uh, they're nice, very, very nice, and nice colours as well. Do, do, do. And then we have some discs. Discs, you say, so some coloured discs. So these are the usual kind of standard wooden fare. They're nice and chunky actually. They're quite thick. A bit thicker than normal. Which is good. And then we've been given two bags. It must be for those little tokens. The, little, uh, the kind of little bonusy looking ones. At the bottom. But it's nice that they thought about it. Actually I will take everything out because as usual Empress 4 likes to do this. Isn't that beautiful? Right at the bottom. I like that. I just think there's something special about seeing that at the bottom. Just a bit of effort of, you know. You've made it to the bottom of the box. Now it looks like the front of the box. 
Right, okay, let's try and reinstall all of this. In you go. Good box. So what do you guys think of this? Um, this looks interesting to me. Um, this is perplexing. I'm looking forward to learning a bit more about it. I was, you know what, I have a feeling it's fine once once you get the hang of it. You know those kind of games when you see them first, you're like, oh, what is this madness? And then you're like, oh, actually that's just this, this, and this. You know, sometimes things just look funny when you see them for the first time, don't they? Do, 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 do. We're nearly there. Put back in two temples. And then the robot. book. So yeah, this looks really, really interesting and really, really fun. I, oh, I can't wait to get my claws into you. So, if I can get the lid back on. Apparently so. Nice and tight. Alright, so um, I've just unboxed Trial of the Temples from Emperor S4 Game. Way! Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this unboxing video with me. Um, if you like what I do, why not like or subscribe to the channel um, so you can find out when I put out new videos. You might even want to watch them, who knows. And until next time, I'll be here and hopefully you will unbox another um, exciting new release with me. So until next time, everybody, take care. Bye bye.